<laughs> what up world all right so i'm here at the shop early bird gets the worm you know my station check out the rest of the shop though <laughs> we got room motherfucker on a fucking handball tournament over here but this is just the convention center the side of the tattoo shop here's the shop beautiful ain't it it's the entrance Beautiful shop, ain't it? Look at all that. For all the artists. And there's an upstairs as well. Sterile room. Just a beautiful shop. Big, beautiful shop. A lot of you guys are wondering why we have such a big area attached to the building. Well, it's because when they hold the Friday the 13th event out here or any other kind of uh, events, this place is a fucking madhouse. They need all the room they can get. And this place provides it all. So it works out really well here. Nice, big, spacious. Let's see what the day brings. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Eventually. <laughs> what up world all right the truth is i've been vlogging as you guys can see i haven't been posting anything but it's not me it's the fact that it's been dead as fuck around here and i don't want to just post a bunch of time lapses for you guys but i'm gonna have to so watch this all right so we're back just got don't judge me i shaved yesterday cut myself i'm here walking you guys through this tattoo and what i'm doing um, right now, I'm just lining the tattoo out, making sure it all comes out really well. I used the paper towel to make sure I didn't smudge up any of the designs, the tattoos the girl had inside of her. Um, just kind of trying to take my time with it, make sure all the lines are perfect. I'm using a tight three for all the detailed design work inside. <coughs> I'm using a 14 round for the perimeter, and I'm double lining the actual, just the perimeter perimeter, not the outline of it all. And... Um, just try and be patient. Make sure all the lines connect, all the lines are beautiful. Making sure the red saturates and it stays in there. <clears throat> Little story about this guy, he came in with a girl and they both got their thighs tattooed. Um, she mentioned that she was an escort and he was paying for it, so. Lucky for her. Or him. <laughs> Loud pockets, huh? Kind of an odd image, if you ask me. He brought it in. He wanted it on his thigh. After the girl told us what she told us, uh, that tattoo made a lot more sense. It's just a little weirdo. Um. <laughs> For some reason, I really like the tight threes. I get into it very meticulously, very, just look at it, focus and make it happen. <clears throat> Lately, I've been having problems with my round liners, the big configurations like 14s, 8s and stuff, but I was also using those needles made by Clean, Clean Rock One, the guy in Vegas. He was on Eagle Master and all that. I definitely do not recommend his needles. They're horrible use fucking any other bullshit but his just do not lay a line in and i'm a type of person that i've been using cartridges since 2012 like lining and shading so i haven't used a needle bar in a long time and i honestly feel that the cartridge works very well for me um i use a bishop rotary sorry about right here i know the image the, every time i kept moving i kept hitting the stand with the camera and kept moving it around but I'll be in there though. <laughs> Damn. I didn't notice the camera moved that bad. It's all right though, we're here now. Getting it in, right? Sorry I haven't been posting again. My apologies, just a lot of bullshit. It's been slow around here, but it's okay. We're building it up.
I definitely enjoyed this image. I enjoy my line work. I enjoy playing with different size lines. So I definitely had a good time working on this tattoo right here. I really like the saturation of the hair. I really like the fact that it was just black and red. At this part right here, I'm just trying to make sure all the lines, all the details are in, that I don't miss anything. I didn't wipe anything away from the structure of the face and the bottom. Make sure I don't lose it all before I start doing all that black. I think I lined the hair with a 14 as well. The blood, I think I did it with a high five. I went well, had fun. Doing a little cat eyes. The, the flowers in the hair though, I did not like the flowers in the hair. I know, I don't know who drew the image, where he got it from, but whoever designed that, as hard as they tried or whoever, whoever created the whole concept of it, they did very well till they came to those flowers in the hair. The tattoos that she has on her, the red ones, I put those in from a whole different design. He brought in the girl and she had um, different flowers on her. I just didn't like them. I didn't feel like they translated well for the tattoo. But the ones in her hair, maybe I should have switched those up as well because boy, those were horrible. There's some like third grade flowers. pretty though as you notice the hair all I did was those lines on the very top that's because that's where the skin's gonna the black's gonna fade into those lines and it's gonna show the skin lines as the hair streaks just being patient doing little bits at a time so I don't forget anything as you see the back of my head right here I don't get to see the back of my head often or the tattoos I have on there but boy they are shitty tattoos man I got those done by some artists and boy, they suck, obviously. I wanna kinda laser them off and uh, start fresh sometimes. Or not get any at all, to be honest. My little girl doesn't like them. So I turned down my machine right here to do the hair. I think I'm running it at a 7, 8, 7.8. Um, I just want it to be consistent. I don't want it to be chewed up. I don't want you to be able to see those rake marks. I don't want to be able to see the transition from one angle to the other. I just want it to all be saturated and consistent, not chewed up one bit. And that's what I was able to accomplish just by turning it all down and you know working. I'm still working at the same speed, working fast, working not as fast as you've seen it there, not three, four, five, what is it, 12 times the speed, but I was working pretty fast and um, laid it in nice and thick. As you can see right there, I'm focusing on the hair streaks where I had originally just done the little lines, making sure that blend and the transition looks real smooth. Because all I did was here was black, no grays. So I had to make sure that the stippling, the shading that I would leave behind was even. Just trying to make sure it's consistent and thick and black. I was happy with the outcome though. Came out really well. The guy said well. But again, there wasn't much going on with the design, right? It's just an outline, some red, and call it a day. The only thing black that was shaded was the hair, so a little bit around the eyes. Overall though, what can I say? I'm pleased. Came out well. Maybe I should use more than one paper towel and clean that bad boy up. There we are, man. I think right here I just needed to shade the flowers, but something happened and camera got moved, yada yada. There's the back of my head again. Might as well fucking show that. I want to finish that head though. Look at that. I wish I could tattoo that fast. Imagine. I'll be balling. All right, we're coming towards the end right here, but it was fun talking to you guys and. Hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.